frustrating a lot of people, didn't they? Hopefully. Yeah? Hopefully it's a victory. You think it will be? Why no telling. You, hmm? No telling what how, will happen. How long have you been working for Romney? Who are you with? I'm just independent. I'm doing a documentary on the primary and the election. I'm a volunteer. But when when did you decide to volunteer for Romney rather than someone else? Um, I've been watching Romney. I like what he does. But uh -huh. I'm not really supposed to talk to the media. I don't, I don't really want to talk to the media. Well, I'm hoping that uh, Mitt's going to win. Yeah. What do you think his chances are? I think it's pretty good, probably even. You know, even if he doesn't, it'll be, it'll be a close second, which is uh, a lot better than what he did last last time around. Yeah, but he was but, favored to win 10. Not well, see, I know the media's going to play it that way. Oh, look, you, you only came in second and stuff because he went down in the polls. But hey, he went up from fourth previously. So what a, <laughs> how are you going to play it? It's all, it's all what's to the advantage of the media and stuff. So. Well, I mean, do, were, you, were you hoping this was going to be a knockout punch, though, and this is going to be it? Well, I was hoping. I'm hoping so. You know, and I hope it still comes through. What do you, so. do, what do you think happened here? What? What do you think happened to, to derail the, this? Well, the question was whether the polls were as, as accurate as we think they were beforehand or not. So, you know, they, they could not have been. Maybe they weren't as, as accurate before. So, you, know, you can't really say that... Uh, other than that he's, you know, come a lot better than what he did in 2008. So When you uh, decided to start working for him, what was your reason for doing that? But the fact that he's got a, a impeccable resume and stuff as far as what he's been able to do, both in the private sector and the public sector and everything. I mean, there hasn't been a problem that he hasn't gone into that he hasn't been able to fix. And that's what we need right now. We need somebody that can fix problems. How long ago were, did you start working for him? But actually... I'm only volunteering here right now. Uh, came down a few days ago to work on work down here, but uh, I've been following him since the 2008 campaign. Stuff, so, so you, did you you were supporting him in 2008? Or? Yes. Well, uh -huh. and, and during that, in the last four years, what do you think has been the change with Mitt Romney to Mitt for him? I mean, what, what, is, what has he done to improve his chances of becoming president? Well, I think he's shown that he's the conservative person. He's been out uh, supporting all the candidates and stuff, and you know, probably more than anybody else, you know, that's running currently. He's been, you know, behind the scenes helping the, the candidates get elected into the Senate and into the, you know, the House. Um, so he's been making his bona fides there. Mm -hmm. um, Are you going to go into Florida with him? Or? No, I won't be going down to Florida and stuff. I think he's going to knock them out there anyway. <laughs> you think that'll be it? Yeah. So do you think this is that this is basically uh, uh, Gingrich's last hurrah? I mean, well, if he doesn't do well here, yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to, to continue on. Well, what do you think of Santorum's chances? Uh, Santorum's still running. <laughs> and as far as the press is concerned, I don't even think he has been mentioned to, that much this week. Santorum? Right. I mean, he had a good debate and stuff, but it doesn't seem to have really helped him as far as getting his name out there and you know getting a lot of publicity. Uh, what do you think about Ron Paul's uh, strategy, whatever that is? I think Ron Paul is in it to get the issues out there. Uh, I don't know that he's really in it to win the election, per se. You know, he seems to be sticking uh, a lot to the caucus states as far as what he's really working towards. So do you think his, his uh, campaign will be one to... Uh, uh, have an effect on the Republican platform? Or I think that's probably what he's running for, to be able to do that. And I think in some respects it has already. I think so. Okay, so you're yeah. hopeful tonight? or? Yep, I'm hopeful. <laughs> and I'm I feeling mean, pretty, nope. I know I, cost, let's see, cautionally optimistic. <laughs> you're reading Atlas Shrug, and what, what, what does that say to you? Yeah, well, it just uh, opened my eyes a little bit to maybe the proper role of government, the purpose of government, and like what, how, how come there's so much fighting? Like everybody wants, everybody wants a favor. Um, 
like since since the government is is providing things for the people, then the people are always crowding around the basically the doors of the government because they want they want their they, they they want they want to be served, meaning they want to they want a portion of the goods that's being distributed by the government, and it, it's uh, to me that's a, that's not really a sustainable system. It just seems to be spiraling down a little bit. And uh, to me, Ron Paul he he's he supports. Uh, I mean, he calls it he calls it liberty, and uh, I mean it's a pretty general word, but. It just means that everybody gets treated equally. They're, they're not going to be. If you're a manufacturer, you don't get subsidies. If you're an importer, you don't get extra tariffs on you. And they just make it. It just allows you to do what you want to do with your life, rather than kind of being nudged one direction or another. Like, or to be nudged to go buy a house or nudged to take health insurance from your employer or just things like that. The, the government has should have a more narrow scope than, than really what it's been doing. So I think Ron Paul supports that. How do you think he's going to do tonight? Well, he's been he's been doing well enough. I mean, he even says it. It's not politics doesn't change culture. It's culture that changes politics. And I mean, he's more he's more of an intellectual than a, than a politician. And, and that's that's where it all starts. Books are written. He's written a number of books. I read them. He he knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's talking about foreign policy. He knows what he's talking about domestic policy. And I don't know. Sometimes he doesn't. He's not able to say it very well on some of these TV interviews. And people really try to pin him down. But it's just uh, to me, it's just because it's 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 more, it's not as simple as that. The, the ideas of individual rights and limited government, it's, it's more nuanced and you, you really have to study it. I mean, maybe if they taught it in our schools or something like that, more people would understand it because, I mean, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's just it's really difficult to get it uh, in, in just one, I don't know, if, if, if Ron Paul is like one of the only people speaking about it on TV, then it sounds kind of it sounds kind of strange. But when you understand the full context of where he's coming from, the intellectual roots they they go back far. But we don't we don't talk about it anymore. We don't talk about John Locke. We don't talk about uh, Frederick Bastiat. We don't talk about Ludwig von Mises. These people are really important. I, th I think that Ron Paul is bringing that about. And, if he gets 20% of the vote or whatever, I mean that doesn't that doesn't really matter to me at least because I know that like we're not going to get the change that we all want from politics. It's, it's going to come from the culture. Do you, do you think that he is um, working towards a nomination eventually for his son? I, <laughs> I I don't I don't know if it's for his son, but it's it's for somebody like like minded like himself. Uh, <clears throat> I think that he he has he has made a pretty good path. I mean, the perseverance that he's had, I, I wouldn't be able to do it. I I, <laughs> I I don't I don't really step out, and I'm not like a sign waiver or anything like that. But this is the this is the first event that I've ever gone to. <laughs> well, what what made you want to come to this event? I, I'm I'm down in Aiken, and I I wanted to meet Ron Paul. He's he's kind of a bit of a hero for me and so that's mainly why I'm here. <laughs> okay.